Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I receive a lot of mails from people who just write two sentences in the mail. Ma'am, I'm scared to talk in English. Can you help me? Or ma'am, I'm afraid to talk in English. Please help me. It really breaks my heart to read such mails. Yes, I reply to them telling it's okay. You need to overcome this fear. It's normal to be scared to do things that you have never done before. These people at least had the courage to mail me and tell me what their problem is. But I am sure there are many of you who are facing the same issue, but you are not telling it out. So in this video, I will be talking about how you can help yourself overcome this fear of speaking in English. So firstly, why are you afraid? Basically, I would think there might be generally two or three reasons uh, why you might be afraid. Okay, so the first reason is people might laugh at you, right? So tell me when you were uh, small, you used to eat food sometimes with your left hand, sometimes with your right hand and sometimes all over your face, right? Uh, but gradually you learn to eat properly, right or wrong? Imagine th there is a kid in your neighborhood who is uh, very small, maybe one or two years old, who just started speaking. How he speaks the language he, with a lot of errors and he makes a lot of pronunciation mistakes. People see that he is pronouncing this particular word wrong and they laugh. When some neighbors come over or relatives come over, they say him, tell this word and they also laugh. Now tell me, does he stop speaking or do people stop laughing? As days pass by, the boy learns to speak in a matter of one or two years, he starts speaking well. Eventually, people stop laughing at him. So what changed? Just because people are laughing at him, did he stop speaking? No, right? If people laugh at you, it shouldn't be an issue. If people cry after listening to your English, I think then you need to be worried. Some people who mean good to you, well-wishers, they will never laugh at your mistake. If people are laughing and you call them as your friends, I'm sorry to say you need to find better friends or a better be by yourself rather than being with such people. When you were a kid, suppose you tried to learn something new. Uh, I'll give you an example. If my daughter has gone out to learn dance, so when she comes back in her initial days, she used to come back and try to show a couple of moves to us. We know that she was not doing it right, but we don't laugh at her. None of the parents do that. They encourage their children, no matter how they are doing. Because they know one day they will learn and they will do good. I think you can relate to all parents and family members who mean good to you. This definitely encourages you. And uh, if they know something better, then they will correct you, but they won't laugh. They will teach you. This is not like this. This is like this. So please surround yourself only with these kind of people and ignore the rest of the world. Second reason why you might be scared is you might forget words or the opposite person may not be able to understand you. So when you're talking and a person is not able to understand you, Tell me, is this your problem? How many times has it happened that you went and attended a lecture and you couldn't understand what the teacher was saying? It happens, right? That doesn't mean that the person will stop giving lectures. It's okay. It will take time. Next reason may be that you are scared that you might make mistakes, right? This is the biggest one. So unless you make mistakes, will you improve? You are never going to be fluent in English. You are never going to learn English. If this is your fear, you can never learn anything without making mistakes. Did you try cooking anytime? First time when you made tea, was it perfect? Do not focus on perfect English when you are just starting out. If you are making mistakes, it means you are, if you are not making mistakes, it means that you are not doing anything new in your life. Don't let the fear win over you. You need to defeat this fear. It's your time to fight against your own mind, against your own securities. I know some of you might be there who is thinking it's easy for you to sit in front of the camera and talk because you know this language and you don't understand what the fear of talking a language means. I would like to say, my dear friends, before being a tutor, I am a human and fear is psychological. At some point of life, even I was scared to talk to people. So let's keep that story for another day. So what I wish to say is, yes, everybody is afraid at one or the other point of life. Maybe not for speaking English with something else, but everybody struggles and eventually they will overcome this. There are bigger things to be scared of. Trust me, 
English is nothing, not even close. Many of you have graduated, right? You have done your engineering. Do you think that graduation or engineering, it's a very easy thing to do? No, right? But still you manage to complete. So what is stopping you now? When you go to the interviews, it is going to be in English. Nobody is going to talk to you in your native language and give you a job. So please don't be afraid. Take the first step. I know it is going to be difficult, but you got this. Spoken English is more about psychological rather than technical. Right? So start learning English. It doesn't matter even if your English is broken or whatever. In the upcoming days, I am going to post how you can learn English alone by yourself. If you are so conscious about talking in front of anybody else, try practicing speaking English alone and develop your skills. Later, when you have the confidence that you can approach people and talk, you can do that as well. So yeah, I hope you are finding at least an inch of motivation in what I am saying. I really hope that you keep up this year and start learning English. Let me tell you, it is not going to be easy. You have to put in a lot of hard work and definitely everybody has it in them. If I can learn when I did not have any resources at hand, right? There was no internet, YouTube, no listening practice till I learned. So what is stopping you? You have to be, you have very powerful thing in your hand that is your mobile. You know how to use the internet. So keep your fear aside and invest the same thought process, the same energy for learning English. So I will tell you a story in order to end this. Once a stranger went to an unknown land. He saw a monkey there. He was afraid of monkeys. He took the first step. The monkey started following him. He started walking faster. The monkey followed him faster. He literally started running and the monkey started running behind him. He ran for some distance, but the monkey wouldn't stop. It kept running behind him. Then a person on the road stopped him and said, Why are you running from the monkey? It means no harm to you. Just look back and see. Maybe it wants to be friends with you. It doesn't mean any harm. So the person stopped and even the monkey stopped. Now it was his choice whether to make friends with it or just shoo it away. This stranger actually was Swami Vivekananda. Why did I tell this story to you? Uh, let's imagine that monkey is this language or anything that you fear. Okay. Since in this video I am talking about English, so I will compare it to the same. I am not afraid of this monkey because I have been friends and I grew up with it, right? So you are afraid of it because it is something new to you. Stop running away from it. Look at it. Try to make friends with it. In any situation you are scared, just remember this story and replace the monkey with your fear. It's your choice. Either to run away or face the fear. What will you choose? Think about it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. It will definitely motivate me for making more videos in the future. Thank you so much. Bye.